Here are the four things you can do if your moustache does not connect to your beard. Hello, welcome to Beer Growing Pro. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification if that's a thing as you're watching this video. This is Beer Growing Pro where we talk about all the things about growing a beard. So this is quite a common issue when it comes to growing a beard. Now a lot of people can grow really awesome mustaches and they can grow really good chins, but the bit in the middle is where they really struggle. And so here are the four things that I think you should consider if you're having an issue with the connector bit between your mustache and your beard. But first, let's talk about the reasons why your beard may not be connecting to your mustache. So the first thing about all this is genetics. Now you cannot fight your genetics. That's just one thing about this. So look at your dad, look at your grandfather, look at the males in your family and ask yourself, do they have a good connector between their mustache and their beard? If they do, then perhaps you just have to wait a little bit for yours to grow in. But if they also struggle, then potentially that is going to be something that you struggle with a lot too. So have a look at your heritage and and if you can actually see people, men in your family, with a good connection. So the second reason why you may have a little bit of a gap in between your mustache and your beard is basically because you haven't waited long enough. Um, now, I think I've got quite a good connection, but uh, this involves growing out your mustache to the point where it can connect. Now, beard hair grows relatively slowly. So if you need to grow out your mustache to cover the gap, just wait a moment. Give it about mm, two months, six weeks or so, so that you can make sure that you can get a good connection between your mustache and your beard. It may not come, the hair may not come from like directly underneath, but you may be able to connect the mustache to the beard just by waiting a little bit. So that's the second thing, why your beard may not be connecting to your mustache. And the final reason why, and I think it's just about um, good health. So make sure you're eating well, make sure that you're exercising and no alcohol can also really help sort of bring your beard to its fullest. Now this isn't always the easiest thing to do and also it's not always the most effective, but by making sure your body is in tip top condition, you can make sure that your beard is also given the best opportunity to grow to its fullest. So go check out the uh, full article on this topic in this card up here somewhere um, and Look after yourself because the more you look after yourself, the thicker, more luscious and awesome chance your beard has of growing into a really nice big bush that you're proud of. So now I recommend we look at the styles that your mustache can take to cover the gap. So typically if you're having this issue with a gap between your mustache and your beard, you should look at styles of mustaches that are a little bit longer. That means then you can style your mustache to cover up any of those problem areas. And so look at mustache styles that are a bit bigger. Now I've got three here that I recommend you try. The first one is the cowboy mustache. The cowboy mustache is kind of skinnier in the middle and longer at the sides. Um, you can even sort of do a fancy mustache with wax and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, cowboy mustaches um, are a really great way of covering up that little problem area that you may be having. Okay, another awesome mustache style to cover up any gaps in between your mustache and your beard is a handlebar mustache. So once again, skinny in the middle and let the sides grow out. Now, uh, handlebar mustaches are normally waxed up and you can get really strong hold waxes to kind of hold them up. But make sure that if, if in this case you're using your handlebar mustache to cover up the gap, that you have enough um, and that you can kind of style it down, put some product in it, some wax or some beard balm, just to cover up that little gap. And the last mustache style that I recommend is a walrus mustache. So these are big, beefy. Now I keep, I tend to keep my mustache pretty tidy, especially underneath, because I found it infuriating as it was kind of like touching my lips and getting up in my mouth. Um, but a walrus mustache, you have to kind of make sure that you leave your mustache alone, you push through the annoying bit where it's in your mouth to the point where you can style it up and around your mouth. Um, and it's kind of big and bushy, big and bushy at the front, big and bush, bushy at the side. Um, and then you can use that to cover up any gaps. So those are my three mustache styles um, and go check out the article on this. Um, I'll put the link above just in case you want any more examples. 
Now, believe it or not, there are also beard styles that have zero mustache. Uh, these are kind of more old school styles. So you're looking at the um, lumberjack without a mustache. So that looks like this. Um, you've also got the Amish type beard. The Amish type beard is everything kind of from the chin down um, with no mustache and very tidy cut lines up here. So the Amish beard, you know, it's not for everyone. Um, and it's very similar to the Lincoln beard. The Lincoln beard goes even deeper in the U around the face, uh, maybe like a chin strap even. It's kind of like almost a chin strap, a long chin strap, the Lincoln beard beard, um, but there are options for you to remove your mustache completely if you just know it will never ever connect. And this is great for people who just can't really grow decent mustaches. You know, get rid of the stuff that's weak on your face, keep the stuff that's strong, and uh, rock that style. Have confidence when you remove that mustache. So the fourth thing that I want to talk about is any kind of medical or chemical intervention. Now, I will say that I am not a doctor. Please do not take anything I say as medical advice, but some people online are using Rogaine type uh, products a topical treatment in the areas where they want to improve the growth and thicken up the hair. There's a lot of people that are having some success uh, with it. The problem is, is as soon as you stop the treatment, your hair will return back to its normal state. So this is a much longer term solution. Um, it essentially involves buying, uh, it's called minoxidil in any form. Um, and applying it to those areas regularly. Now, the FDA has approved this for scalp treatment, but there's not much recommendation. There's nothing really for uh, the face or beards or any other part of the body. Um, so you have to take whatever you read online with a grain of salt. Um, there has been other suggestions as well that you can use micro needling. Uh, now that sounds really sort of scary and as if uh, it's going to hurt, but it's essentially where you, you get this little micro roller and you roll it in the area and combine that with the uh, topical treatment uh, for hair growth and that can help. Once again, this is my last resort. I do not recommend to most people that you go down the topical treatment route mainly because once you start, you can't stop. Um, it's expensive, you may have side effects. So before you do anything crazy, please speak to a dermatologist or your doctor to make sure that uh, you're not gonna have any weird side effects. So yeah, those are the chemical and medicine interventions that you can use to help connect your mustache with your beard. But uh, getting rid of it, using a longer mustache style would be the thing I would do first before doing anything else because once you go down the chemical and medicine route, it starts to get pretty serious. So exhaust your options before you go there. And if you do go there, please speak to a medical professional. So thank you for this. Let me know in the comments what you would do to grow out your beard and connect your mustache and your beard properly. Um, Remember to subscribe to this channel. It's a new channel and I'm looking forward to adding lots of value to the beard growing community. So also please go check out beardgrowingpro.com where I talk about all of the issues and questions that people have when they're thinking about growing a beard. I'll see you in the next video and enjoy your beard growing journey.